Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I guess this is Series 2 time. Um, unfortunately, uh, as you can see, uh, I didn't make it. Uh, I got fired, didn't win a championship. Um, but it is what it is, so uh, time to take a look. And I normally like to go with either the team with the worst record, which looks like it'll be Seattle Symphony. Also, ooh, I think it's the Vegas. Las Vegas Blue Chips it is. Vegas time. All right. So, first let's check out our roster here. Deshaun Gillard, who I, I tried to trade for him. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty funny. He's been popping up here. Um, I think he was the guy I tried to trade for, right? Yeah, I think it was him. Um, okay. Blake Pete, running backs, Travis Anderson. Uh, he's probably going to be the face of my franchise to start off. Um, wide receivers, we have a great wide receiver. That's cool. We actually have a really solid cast so far. Tight end. Okay, no tight end. Line. Not a bad line. Uh, some major liabilities in every position but safety. Uh, yeah, okay. So, defense is going to be the big work, but also a good quarterback. Honestly, Spencer Anderson isn't that great. This is one of the worst first overall picks I've seen. Um, I'm going to try to trade out of this pick. I know it might seem like blasphemy, but I can probably get a lot of value for it. I thought. Or so it seemed. But my hope is quickly disappearing. If I could make the cap for this work, I think I want to do this one. Uh, I need to throw in seven million. I got a useless player around seven million. Dylan Greg, Craig. There we go. All right. I want to my next pick here. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go O line. O line. D-line, wide receiver, running back, wide receiver, oh, and then linebacker, I suppose. Honestly, not a great draft. I, I kind of regret trading the pick, but we'll, we'll see if it plays out okay. Oof, right off the bat, losing a decent amount of value here. Um, Eric Logan, probably not coming back, if I'm being honest. We're going to spend that cap room somewhere else. Pod Green in the same boat here. Um, Bartlett, I don't need to bring in another running back for a bit. Um, Jordan Davis, who I actually... No, I guess I didn't have him. I, I, I guess I had, uh, different, different Davis. Um, yeah, he... No real reason to bring him back. Nothing special. Uh, Jay Watkins wants way too much money. Terrell Brown is just non effective kicker. Um, honestly, I feel bad, but I'm basically washing out most of this team um, right off the bat, bat here. Um, yeah. Not much that's to love. Anything useful defensively? Nope. All right. And with that, we're going to go into free agency. Let's see how we're looking. 60 million. We have some major holes, starting with tight end here. Um, Shiloh Boyles. Bring you in. Um... I guess I'll bring him and 
and Tyler Neal in on a one-year deal. We'll see if how those two play out for us at tight end. Running back, I'm really just looking for a secondary back right now. Joe Ross is definitely the solution. That's cool. Picking up a rookie. That's great. Um, looking at QB here. I kind of want to sim a day because maybe we pick up Adams. We'll see. But, but before I do that, I, I do need to upgrade some of my defense. This team's big problem was defense this last season. Pick up Joseph Davis on a one-year deal. Look at some linebackers now. Um, Rocco Abernathy, come on. We'll pick up Knicks on a four-year deal. That's pretty solid. Justin Davis also on a multi-year deal. Any decent young potential pack guys that don't want much? Yeah, we got a couple. Alright, now let's look at some cornerbacks. Not much out there. At all. Um, Ebner is a young prospect, really. Let's see. Anyone that could, like, plug in for one season to start. Suppose McFadden could be a one season stop and gap. Um, yeah, we got two potential guys here to bring in as well. Maybe one of them becomes solid enough to have a big role. Oh, hey, hey, Luingo! Luingo is going to be like a Hall of Famer with me. Ironically, Doinky is also out there. That's pretty funny. Uh, Roderick as well. That's hype. I want to bring back my special teamers. Cool. Safeties. Honestly, not really liking much out there for safeties, but we're okay at safety. We just need to add some depth. So I had a couple of these old guys. All right. So now the big position is to add a quarterback here. Um, there's not much out there that I could afford. Um, like that will sign with me. Part of me wants to say maybe go with Phillips here. He hasn't played since the start of the, the, the league though. So let's see. After day one, anyone else want to sign with us? No. All right, so I guess Ty McGeehy will come in as one of our backup options here. Um, can't even get Tyler Smith. So I, I also, no, I'll just roll up those four for now. Um, let's see, wide receivers. We gave up a lot of value to wide receivers, so if I could bring someone in, that would be kind of helpful. Corey Davis, dude's on my fantasy team, but he's also going to come in on a one-year deal here. All right. Now I'm going to sign some quality depth to the O-line because we did take some major losses there. Um, that's not too bad a deal. And there's not much else I like. So we'll see if we can find a, another solid, competent guy. That we can right down there. I think that fills up our roster. Yeah. All right. So with that, we go into progs here. Um, let's see, I, I'm really hoping we pick up some serious, okay, uh, I'm honestly going to roll with Gillard this season, I don't want to say I'm committing to him, but I, I'm I, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to commit to Gillard, um, because I, I did want him in the past, um, maybe he has a solid role for us this season, um, worst case, he's a little worse than it was last season, which wasn't great. Um, meanwhile, Travis Anderson is definitely the starting starter, no question there. Um, wide receiver, um, Bagley is number one, clearly. Corey Davis will be the number two. Brett Edwards will slot in at three. That's not too bad. Brett Edwards kind of reminding me of Brian Edwards, which he did something this season. Um, but you can't always get what you want, I suppose. 
looking at tight end here, Ross is definitely slotting in with the other guys. Actually, I'm tempted to play Boyles a little bit more. We'll see what Boyles does, number two. All right, line is fine. We have a fine line. Um, we're a little weak, I'm not going to lie, defensive line. Uh, linebacker's a lot better than it was last season, but it's definitely not great. Um, we have a couple quality corners now. Um, I'm actually going to start McFadden. We'll see if that bites me, but I think he might do a little bit better. Uh, Dents is by far my best player, um, out of the safety spot. So, uh, we have Loingo, Hype. Um, yeah, and we'll take a look at, I'm not, I don't like playing my stars on special teams. I really don't. Um, but I guess Bagley is just too good to not play on special teams. Anyway, let's see how the season progresses. Um, is any of my former quarterbacks free agent? Because if they are, I'm going to try to pick them up here. And I will. Gordon obviously is retired. But Laifu uh, will probably be a, a backup at best this season. Uh, I can't imagine St. Louis is in a better spot than they were. You know what? Good for St. Louis. I'll meet them in the Super Bowl. Probably not. All right. Starting off the season with an absolutely horrible game. All right. You know, we can go up from there. All right. Two bad games here. And let's see. Can we make it three? Hey, picked up a win, uh, thanks to rushing, in all honesty. Um, Deshaun Gillard had his best game of the season, so there's that. But I'm definitely going to be looking for a quarterback right now. Um, Minnesota's playing Dials. Who isn't playing a big role? He's just a backup. So let's we'll see what they want for him. They want first round pick for him. That's not happening. I am going to also go to uh, my team's finances here, and we'll drop health down to zero. Um, and suppose we'll raise ticket prices a bit, and we'll raise coaching a bit. All right. Goal is to make a profit. We'll see if that happens. Uh, Gillard, so far, not. He's had two good games now. Travis Anderson got hurt. That makes us really thin at running back. Um, I kind of want to trade with St. Louis. See if I can pick up one of my old, old guys. Because I, I was a pretty good rapport with them. They're barely using my old homies. All right, give me Evan Anderson. We'll make that work. Second round pick? I'm not trying a second round pick for your like third string running back. If I give you a pair of fourths picks. You really want a second round pick. What if I do a third instead? Two thirds. Not, I really don't want to do two thirds, but I guess if I have to do a second, he had a great season last year. It's a lot to give up for him. It really is, but emotional attachment and all. See, what if I pick up a fourth this year? This is a horrible. All right, trade AI really not helping right now. I guess I'll do it, but only for the memes, really. Evan Anderson will slot in immediately as the backup running back. He might even be able to pull a bigger role in. We'll see. I'm just checking to see, make sure he didn't accidentally end up as a starter somewhere. All right. 
No, I do need to cut someone. Suppose if I ever wanted to cut Newman, Newman is the guy to go with. So. Oof. Damn. We got destroyed. All right. Let's try to get our offense at least playing okay. We have just a thousand yards from. Oh, Gillard, come on, man. Gillard is just not helping this team right now. Honestly, Henderson does not look bad right now. Um. I'm gonna move McGee in. I'm I'm benching Gillard in my first season. Committed to him as a starter and I'm benching him already. And we already do better. Um McGeehee, good for you. But I don't I don't know if McGeehee's really the wow, he's playing a lot better than Gillard. Um unfortunately Gillard signed for a fairly sizable contract. Um yeah, that was that was rough, honestly. Uh, we're doing a bit, a bit better. Um, Henderson's been pretty effective as a running back in his time with me so far here. From a wide receiver standpoint, Bagley's fine. Shiloh's not really producing much, so I think he's going to move down on the depth chart here. Um, yeah, how are we doing on the returns here? He's good. Cool. All right. Let's see, he can you turn. Nope, but big game from Henderson, and Travis Anderson does come back, but Henderson's kind of really done a number on his job here. I mean, Henderson's been phenomenal this season, but then Anderson, of course, stepping up with a big game as well. Um, we do have a really solid rushing game. It's just we have no quarterbacking right now. Um, both running backs are being phenomenal. McGeehee's just kind of stopgap at the moment. Um, I kind of want to go back and see maybe we can get something out of Gillard for these last few games, but we're probably drafting a quarterback in the offseason. I mean, Gillard's really not looking great. Running backs, though, we are set. Both running backs putting up really good performance here. Um, yeah, so... This offseason is going to be all about getting a quarterback. Corey Davis retired. Wow. Uh, McFadden as well. Both of my one-year rentals retired. How did Corey Davis do on this season? Eh. Normal Corey Davis stuff, I suppose. Um, no major changes or anything. All right. Let's see. Reginald Johnson is out there. I think I'll go with him. Linebacker. Safety is always good to pick up. Another tight end that could be nice too. Um, we're really solid at running backs. We really don't need that. Cornerback wouldn't be too bad. All right. And down here, running backs are kind of worth it. Is worst case you get a guy that washes out in the season or so. All right, cool. Bagley does want to come back, which, even though he had a down year, I think is worth it. So I'm gonna bring him back. He's gonna be like my primary receiver. Dent is probably our best defender, so I do want to bring him back as well. Now we are going to lose another member of our O line. But that's okay, I think, because we're still a really competent O-line. Junior Williams is going to come back as, honestly, I feel like he has potential to be a pretty big name for us. Um, Bolger will come back, or will be signed. But I'm also not going to make the same mistake with Reginald. Reginald's going to come in for a while. Um, and Gillard will be a, a backup for a bit for us. See if he does anything. 
let Ponder go. I really do want him to add advanced stage rookies. Not that Ponder is one, but I think that'd be a really cool mechanic. I'm just kind of spitballing while I'm talking here, you know. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to kind of build a nice young core. We do need to add a defensive lineman pretty badly. Defensive lineman, some depth at the receiving position. D-line, D O-line are the big things. Um, yeah, I guess we'll pick up Carter. And now, all the rest of the money we have going straight here. Honestly, I might trade Gilrand or Anderson to pick up cap space here. Alright, so nobody wants Gilrand. Gilrand's a really bad contract, I'm not going to lie. Let's see if somebody wants Robinson. Fifth round pick. Damn. Oh, here we go. Second round pick and a cornerback. I don't like to trade my star, but $20 million for running back is too much. So, this will let me bring in at least another competent star on the defensive end here. Um, it's one competent guy. Uh, let's see. OJ McDonald will be another one. Now I'm going to keep it under two million, and we'll fill out our the rest of us here. Darian Clark picking him up due to injury is cool. All right, let's see. Any high potential ones? Not particularly, but we'll make work with what we got. All right, now we'll take a look at running back. We might need to add some depth here, but Henderson's been good for me. So, um, I almost drafted Collins, so I'm surprised to see him out there. I'll pick him up too. And a wide receiver. I swear in one of my games I had Brandon Shelby at wide receiver, so that's pretty cool. A little Easter egg for myself, I guess. Um, Any as well. Not a bad pickup. Uh, let's see. O-line. All right. I'm going to cut one guy. Pick up another solid O-lineman. Robert Hill. Actually, I'm going to cut Newman. I think it's the second Newman I've cut, or I cut the wrong guy last season. That would be unfortunate. I actually recognize Wyatt. I think we had him when we were with St. Louis. Yeah, we did. So, bring him in. Why not? All right. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I feel like that video f flew through, but I, I guess not.